tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Started with animation. Hello, how are you doing? Today I'll show you the usage of a simple command which you might find useful for your polygon modeling. I'm currently in the polygon modeling menu set here. Modeling is here and I find under mesh tools slide edge. Slide edge does exactly what it uh, says it slides the edges. Before we use this command, let us go to the Curves and Surfaces tab here and create a uh, NURBS sphere. So this is not a polygon, it's a NURBS uh, topology. When I use the right mouse button and select isopalm or, or isopalm, I can, for example, click here and do this. This does not change the resolution of this sphere. It doesn't insert a new isopalm into that geometry. It just is a representation of a uh, curve which is not really there. But we can make it appear really there by going to curves and duplicate the surface curves because it's a curve on the surface. And when we duplicate it, it becomes a real curve. And when we do this several times, we can create a new object which looks like a sphere or quite differently. For example, if we go to the control vertices and extend this one to the left, we can start creating an, uh, a totally different shape. That's uh, for industry design It's uh, or industrial design. This is uh, an ideal tool. But it's not part of the actual geometry. It's a new geometry which can be created. With, with the duplicate surface co uh, command. New scene and now we go to the polygon modeling tab and for example we can choose any of the primitives here but uh, why not choose one of the super shapes here, the super ellipse. It arrives as a sphere and when we go to the poly super shape tab, if you don't see it press Control A to get to the attribute editor and we'll lower the, well actually we press on random first, when we press again we see this, these kind of objects here, very interesting, and now we can lower the vertical divisions in order to show the command, the slide edge command uh, a little bit better, so we just lower this to 3 and uh, so we have more distance in the vertical dimension. Now um, we right mouse click and go into the the edge select mode and now we can use the mesh tools slide edge uh, drag with middle mouse button to slide okay that's exactly what we're gonna do double click here for example and now we move this with the left or right uh, movement of the mouse up here we can also double click here and move this with the right mouse button over here, over there. Not further, because there are other edges sitting there. And let's do this again. So if you need this for modeling, this is just a very nice and very easy to use tool. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.